Man, if I were a young dude coming out of Atlanta, looking to absolutely crash out and ruin my life beyond all recognition, there's no doubt in my mind that the soundtrack to your crimes would most likely be one of these artists. You know, someone like L5, someone like Lil Tim, someone like Anti The Menace, someone even like Baby Kia, man. These Atlanta drill artists are the epitome of crash dummy activity. I'm convinced that people that actually listen to this music in all seriousness might be the same type of people that brush their teeth with their fingers bruh it seems like the younger generation of Atlanta artists aren't really rapping about stunning you know flexing money and stuff that the old head rappers were rapping about for decades now these dudes took it upon themselves to straight up make extremely loud extremely violent and extremely federal music about straight up murking people bruh this shit is like if charles manson hopped on an atlanta beat man i swear it's like straight up osama bin laden straight in the booth one of the most crazy rappers of this generation a straight crash out captain is baby kia many believe this dude might be either special ed on the spectrum or faking his persona to look overly crazy probably somewhere between all three of those things all i can tell by this dude is he needs some type of serious mental therapy although a lot of the raps that he makes are likely fiction the beef that this dude is actually within in this city of atlanta is very real the violence affects everyone no matter your race geographical area or socioeconomic status it's bureau investigators released this surveillance video hoping somebody will recognize the people responsible for the shooting with bodies dropping people getting sentenced to football numbers and people even tunneling through jail cells to stab people behind this bro the songs like od crashing yes this dude really titled a song to make a straight crash out anthem i swear baby kia went out of his way to diss another lunatic rapper on that song who's named anti the menace who also made a wave in the city for straight screaming on the mic as well. Bruh, this is like the battle of the crash house right now. And we got to get into the beefs that made this genre of Atlanta rap famous and the people who got murked behind it right now. But before we do, I'm going to need you to do something for me, man. Like, comment, subscribe. We finna run this video, man. We about to go trim right now. Make sure you hit that link in the description for the merch. And make sure you hit that notification bell so whenever I post, you get tuned in right away, man. We on the road to 100K subscribers. So I'ma need y'all, if y'all listening, don't be a reoccurring viewer that don't be tapping in, man. Let's get into this. Man, in order to have a chance, at understanding the dumpster fire that is the music scene in Atlanta, you gotta understand the gangs involved throughout all this and why exactly they got beefs in the first place. This new subgenre of music within Atlanta is called Atlanta Drill. It's basically like people screaming on the top of their lungs like New York Drill, but with overly aggressive, overly trimmed, that if they listen too much, you might just start tweaking out. The biggest standouts in this genre are really like Anti The Menace, Baby Kia, and there's honorable mentions like L5, who got a Playboy Cardi co-sign and other people like that. But for all intrusive purposes, we're gonna focus on Baby Kia and Anti The Menace with this video because they have been going back and forth for a minute. Honestly, the music is crazy, but I think the craziest thing about all this is the gang ties that has people just completely tweaking out their whole lives. Anti The Menace is from the west side of Atlanta from a section that he calls Jurassic Park. It's basically a housing project area on the west side over near Ashby Street that he mentions on countless songs. Growing up in that area, he apparently got a close ties with a gang called 952, a subset of sex, money, murder, bloods with some type of connection to Rollo's fam goon group, along with ties to an infamous gang called YC, aka Young Crew. YC is like an offshoot of PFK, aka, you know, the Play For Keeps gang, infamous for being where Lil Marlo was from, aka 3L. It's crazy because a lot of these dudes be having connections to larger rappers, but these just be like the young, young ass dudes from these older dudes neighborhood or something like that. On the other hand, we got the crash out captain himself, baby Kia, named after being cool with Kia boys, aka dudes that go around and rob Kias, and apparently getting his name after noticing that every Kia that they robbed happened to have a baby car seat in it. 
Baby Kia made waves over the past couple months and basically dropped the biggest hit of his career so far that was an anti Dominus diss, where he literally said he was siding on Ashby, which is the street where anti Dominus is apparently from. But to understand why, you basically gotta see Baby Kia's whole affiliation from the jump. Baby Kia is from the Cleveland Ave neighborhood of Atlanta. He said he moves around a lot of his life, but that's where he recently lives now. That's the same neighborhood that Atlanta rapper Young Thug reps. He's from a subset of bloods called fmh which have close ties with y5 which is basically the young dude version of ysl you know members from there most notably were like Lil key or people who have close ties to ysl being from the Cleveland ad neighborhood in the city although most of these beefs is over just internet stuff and just over songs a major incident among these young rappers that went down where a major player throughout this area was gunned down causing everything to go to shit and we got to get into that right now because it might be one of the most recognized incidents in the last couple years that caused this ongoing beef between these two sides chapter 2 although there could be a lot of different reasons why these groups of young rappers have beef it seems like the biggest spilling point could be the infamous death of 5L member and Ola Runt's little brother Lil Cam. The little brother, yes, of incarcerated rapper Ola Runt. And Ola Runt is an infamous top shotter from the 5L gang that was locked up for a couple years now from getting caught up in a gang sweep called Operation Phoenix. But while he was locked up, his little brother Lil Cam was apparently menacing the people in his age group. A video even leaked of him pistol whipping a dude in 4K on a busy street corner near Atlantic Station. The same station where he unfortunately would lose his life, which we're about to get into later. You know, everything a young man should really aspire to be, Lil Cam was doing the opposite. While games like 5L, and YSL's older members had some type of issues. It wasn't as serious as a bunch of other beefs that they had, and apparently wasn't serious enough to stop their younger members from clicking up. Apparently, this is how members from FMH and Y5 somehow ended up being cool, and they had to click up and have an alliance because they were having a crazy beef with YC, who was known to be crash outs like Lil Perk. Baby Kia, being from FMH, had close ties with Lil Cam, who apparently was FMH, on top of having close ties as a 5L from his brother. Like I said before, YC at the time was clicked up with 952, where anti the Menace is from. But this unfortunately set the stage for one of the most infamous crash out incidents of recent memory, the shooting at Atlantic Station. Second boy has died following a weekend shootout near Atlantic Station. Now police are asking for the public's help. Tom Christine, this has been upgraded to a double homicide as we have a 12 year old dead and now a 15 year old dead as well. Police say that the suspected shooters could be seen celebrating as they made their escape on Marta. It's difficult uh, to investigate uh, a death of a child. A second young life cut short following Saturday's shooting near Atlantic Station. 15-year-old Cameron Jackson died from his injuries after six people were shot near the 17th Street Bridge. His mother is still shaken by the news. She told us over the phone her baby was homeschooled, wanted to be a professional boxer, and loved science. 12-year-old Zion Charles died from his injury Saturday. Police say video shows Charles with the suspects moments before the shooting. He's believed to have been killed by someone and his own friend group. On November 26, 2022, just a couple of days after Thanksgiving, police were called to the 17th Street area of downtown Atlanta, near Atlanta Station, where reports of gunfire and a large group of teens seen causing a disruption. Atlanta police were initially called around 8 p.m. to Market Street after receiving a report of multiple people shot. Police said an off-duty police officer and Atlantic Station security guards had escorted a group of minors for disorderly behavior. Police said that something caused the situation to escalate to gunfire. Apparently, members of YC, most notably the crazy crash out shooter Lil Perk, had just decided to mob onto Atlantic Station looking for Lil Cam in a large group and had previously said threats online at Lil Cam. At the same time, apparently Lil Cam sent threats back and then they all just linked up because Lil Cam was known to frequent the Atlantic Station area. 
At the same time, Lil' Cam, aka Cameron Jackson, was seen on surveillance video riding a scooter throughout the area as he was known to do. Following the large group being kicked out of the station, a Fulton County Assistant District Attorney told the news and the court that Zion Charles and Cameron Jackson and another friend then left the scene on scooters. But they were crossing the 17th Street Bridge when someone shouted, there goes Cam! Gunfire erupted with Lil' Cam being gunned down on the spot, along with the 12 year old Zion Charles who got taken out too late. Later. The thing is, Zion Charles was apparently with the large group and got killed in friendly fire, which we found out after the fact. Surveillance footage then shows the large group of YC teens running through Atlantic Station to split up and board the train. And one of the people you can clearly make out on video seemingly bragging about what happened was YC rapper Lil Perk, who was a drill rapper making waves in the city. Honestly, that beef doesn't even stop there, bruh. Like, you can't even make this up because of following this incident, a 5L member apparently dug a tunnel through a wall at the Rice Street Jail in Fulton County to confront a YC member that had something to do with the shooting and stabbed him multiple times after digging through his jail cell. Made hole in the wall was huge enough for at least one inmate to climb through it into the zone or cell block next door to his and stab a fellow inmate there, says interim right. Fulton County Jail Commander Curtis Clark. Arena that we are operating now, things of this nature, um, happen far too often. Like, that doesn't even make sense to me. Like, you, imagine how long it takes to dig through a concrete wall. They were digging through that for mad long. Bro saw the signs and what was going on and just didn't do anything. This just goes to show the stuff that these young dudes be rapping about is very real and very active. Although they weren't technically involved in these incidents, the people who were very close with them were involved in this incident and it affected both their music and their relationships for the time being. Which leads us to the aftermath. Pretty much since then, Anti The Menace and Baby Kia have pretty much been at odds for a minute. I saw Anti The Menace basically dropping snippets, you know, dissing Baby Kia. Then Baby Kia drops the biggest song, arguably, of his career that goes viral called OD Crashing. And everyone's kind of wondering how exactly that happened. And it definitely was this network of close ties. Although since then, YC and 952 apparently have split and aren't really cool. And at the same time, it's been reported that Lil Perk has essentially gotten, you know, almost 20 years for his involvement in this case and is one of those people that are basically going to be facing a large portion of their life in jail now along with all the other people like the dude that stabbed the yc member and even ola runt who didn't really have anything to do with it but it just shows that the gang ties are really what's going wrong with this community and it's kind of crazy like yeah his mom went on the news and said little cam was a good person but he was running them up too pistol whipping people and 4k and everything which just shows that these young dudes had a disregard utterly for their lives, you know? They just were looking out and going doing crash out activity. And let's just hope that, you know, Baby Kia was just joking when he said he was sliding down Cleveland Ave or walking around Ashby Street with a strap and stuff like that. Even though I wouldn't be surprised if it's the truth. But I feel like at the end of the day, these dudes don't really care about what really happened. I feel like they don't really care about their lives at the point that they really think twice about what they do. And they probably are already doing this stuff in general. Even if there was no social media, they were probably crashing out and doing gang activity and all this other stuff. Even if they didn't have social media, we're just able to see it. But the thing about it is it's like i can't really blame them because if you're gonna do it anyways you might as well get paid off of it you know at the end of the day you might as well monetize this and dude has been making huge numbers that video has like a million views already and it's only been like 12 days which just goes to show that obviously people are tuning into it whether it be for better or for worse this is definitely one of those scenarios where you can't really even tell if people are tuning into this because of the fact that they like the music or because of the fact that they want to know about the story or that his voice is just so viral that it's going crazy. And honestly, it doesn't even matter. I've listened to some of his songs and he does scream a lot, but he does have songs where he doesn't really scream a lot. And he does have songs that are actually pretty good. Honestly, all of them have good songs, you know? In order to be big and good in Atlanta in the first place, you have to have good music. Like, you're not just gonna be just trash and expect to be having some type of fan base, and their beats are hard, so, I think that they actually have potential. If these dudes are just using this for shock value to get views and go viral, and then they actually switch up and make good music, 
I feel like that's the only way out of this situation because the gang beef and crashing out is definitely not going to get you anywhere besides in jail or in a jail cell or in, you know, dead at the end of the day, you know. And it's just kind of crazy, too, because you look at the older versions of all these people that are basically connected to these gangs. You've got Young Thug, who's locked up. you got Ola Runt, who's in jail. You got Lil Marlo, who's dead. Man, you got all these type of people, Lil Key, that died from natural causes or whatever, from a, you know, liver failure and stuff like that, man. It just shows that they don't really have good examples around them of people that try to lead them in the right direction. And that's part of the reason that so many people have gotten shot and killed and ended up getting caught up along the way. So let's just hope that this money and music has people chill out and mellow out. You know, they're still young. I feel like they still have the opportunity to really actually be beneficial. And this is just a young wave of people coming up. But let me know in the comments what y'all think, man. Y'all think they have potential? You think that this is just a crash out society, man? And you think that I got anything wrong and I'm missing anything? Let me know in the comments what y'all think, man. Real say, say shit. You already know what's going on. Make sure you like, comment, subscribe, man. Peace.